Alright, so what's up guys? We're here with Kyle from Born Low. Uh, Kyle sings for Born Low. And um, yeah, yeah, take some time here to, to do this interview with us, which is, I think is pretty cool. Um, so first, obviously, like you guys are on tour with Hard Side. How's that been going so far? Uh, it's cool. It's real cool. Um, this is the second time we've gone out with Hard Side. Uh, the first being last summer, we did pretty much a full U.S. except for the Southeast. So now we're back to kind of hit some dates, some locations in the Southeast this time around, and uh, four of which are in Florida. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a Florida tour with another area of Michigan and Detroit, Atlanta. It was cool. We played uh, outside of Birmingham, Alabama, which was real cool because they're super secretive down there. Um, so it's been great so far. We're like five or six days in now, and we got uh, Tampa tomorrow, and then uh, start working our way back home to Ottawa. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I know last year, Hard Side had came down here. They were on tour with somebody before here. Yeah, Venue, yeah. Yeah, they came down and they they had played that fest last year, and I guess right after that, you guys must have gone out on tour with them. Yeah, I think it was either right out, right, right after, or right. I think they actually toured with Venue right after us. Okay. So. Yeah, it was right around that time, and then, uh, you know, we wouldn't like to stay out. It was a great tour, but we, we're a band of people with full-time jobs, so right. we can only do so much. Right. So, you guys released your first your first record, right? You and Carnage on Reaper Records? Correct. Right? So, how was that? Like, was that like, I know, like, Reaper gets a really cool rap. Like, they always have a good lineup come out, and they have good records always coming out. So, what was that like putting it out with Reaper and stuff? Um, it was awesome. I mean, Reaper's firing on all cylinders now. Uh, it was definitely one of the top labels in hardcore. Uh, rightfully so. They do things the right way and they're uh, a great bunch of people to work with. And um, It was a real cool experience. Um, they kind of picked up on our band when we did a demo and then they saw some live sets. Uh, it was their excuse, I think. And then all of a sudden they, they were just really about uh, the songs that we were writing at the time and we knew we wanted to do a record and it just kind of worked for the timing to do that record with them. And, um, they continue to push us and support us and help us out when they can, and it's been a great re relationship, and it, it still is. So it definitely psyched to be a part of like the Reaper right. roster. Right. So you guys are doing this tour now. Like, what are the what do you what plans do you guys have coming up like for the summer? Like, you guys just released that seven inch on Bad Grounds in yep. December, right? Yeah, we just put out uh, the new seven inch, four songs. Uh, digital download has five. It's called The Hunger Within. Uh, Background Records is actually um, a, a, a new label started by our guitar player, Joe. Um, he's got plans to do some other records with other bands in the near future, and uh, it was just a really, really cool experience, a uh, real humbling experience for us to kind of collectively be involved in that effort. Um, he is, you know, the, the head of the label, as so to speak, if you want to call it that, but yeah. we all kind of had our hand in, in pitching in to either promote it or do the artwork or the layout or... Okay stuff like that, so it was a real cool experience for us, it's something we wanted to do, and something that I think in retrospect was just the right decision for us to yeah. do. Um, as far as plans this summer, um, <coughs> we have some things coming up, uh, that's related that we can't really speak on yet, um, but there are some things that we have confirmed. Uh, we're playing Breath Fest in Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, second week in May. Uh, before that, we got a pretty big uh, show in Richmond uh, with some of the bands that are also on Breath Fest. Uh, that's the Friday, I think, I believe it's May 11th, and then Breath yeah. Fest is the 12th. Um, before that, we're doing Heart Fest. Uh, seems like we're doing all the yeah, right. body part fests, but uh, that's in Ottawa, uh, right outside Ottawa, Canada. Right. Uh, it's like a three-day fest with some pretty diverse, some pretty diverse lines of bands. Yeah. Um, so we're doing those two things. We got some other things uh, later on in the summers. Uh, like I said, that really hasn't been announced, so I can't really speak on. And then. Uh, yeah, just, you know, we'll go from there, pick up from there. Just trying to take it one tour at a time here, yeah. you know. But, I, but I mean, I think it's cool when, when you know, bands are, you know, are constantly, like, playing shows and constantly touring. Like, you know, shows are, like, uh, a lot of, you know, they, they, like, the band is real serious about what they're doing. And, right. and not in the sense that, like, you know, obviously no one is in hardcore to make any money, but, <coughs> you know, you guys know that, like, people obviously enjoy your music and, like, the fact that you guys, you know, go from, I mean, all over New York. I mean, that's not, like, two states over. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the fact you guys come down here and, and go out west and do all that kind of stuff. I, to me, like I, I appreciate that a lot because I think there are a lot of bands now that kind of feel like they're over touring a little bit and they don't want to do this. And and there there's just a lot of bands that yeah. I'd like to see that don't make their way down the south shore. You know, so whenever like bands I really enjoy like come down here, it's always like a real treat for me. That's you know? cool. Yeah, I mean, we we always I mean the objective for us is to do as much.
of the ten is the time that we have available to us we're not a full time band we probably never will be we do this because it's fun for us and we want to be a part of something for us we want to create something for us and by us to feel a lot of selves so to speak we kind of do this almost as a release from our daily routines and our jobs things like that and that's something that we really think we think that it's sort of kind of taking a back seat in recent years at least the emphasis on being involved in the hardcore scene as an outlet and as an escape from the outside world whether it's you know your job or your club to school or you know people coming down on you things like that it's it's kind of we feel like it's kind of been just like a lost element to the scene because there are so many full time bands people making careers out of hardcore and things like that which we can't knock and we don't knock we just we try to place an emphasis on the other side the people that you know have other means of income and you know they come to the shows because they need an outlet and that's kind of what we're about so we just try to make the best of the time that we have because we come from that background and we try to hit like you said south florida you know we try to hit seattle we played outside of seattle last tour so we're trying to hit like every area we can and just utilize our time as best we can with that and i think that's awesome you know like again it's just i like i'm very appreciative of bands that make their way down here you know especially especially bands that like i've never seen and 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 that i'm really into you know what i mean like you know obviously you guys seem pretty disappointing me but you know yeah but um you know i mean just like really like you know you talk a lot about like um you know the outlet of of the scene and all that stuff like like what what got you into hardcore like like what was like the thing for you you know uh, I mean, really, it's pro- it's almost kind of cliche, I'm sure, but a lot of the, I got into hardcore the same way a lot of people probably did, through friends, uh, you know, it only takes one person to kind of discover, you know, the underground music scene, and then it kind of just explodes as, you know, blossoms from there, however you want to really call it, but, you know, I, I was growing up in high school, and I had a lot of older friends at the time uh, that were into, like, punk rock and stuff like that, even, like, the bigger punk rock bands and stuff like that, and then, you know, they progressively got into heavier stuff or harder stuff or more underground or off the beat things and I kind of just followed in their footsteps from there but you know I just uh, you know just not meshing with like the, the average band in school and it just kind of I'm not latched on to the older crowd of kids that were going to shows at the time and it just kind of took off from there and I did bands in high school I did local bands stuff like that and uh, I just been going ever since I guess that's cool I mean I think that's you know I think that's the same story for a lot of us and, and, and I think that's what's so cool about hardcore is that like a lot of us like the same thing like you know didn't fit in here didn't fit in there and like right. come to your first show or like get your first you know you know whatever comp tape from somebody and you know there's a few bands on there that are you know that, that really catch your eye and just go from there and, and that that's probably like my favorite aspect of hardcore is is that like it's just such like it really is like a community yeah and it's it's cool that like you know like you you can go you know you come all the way down from from new york and there's people here that like are genuinely excited to see you and like know your songs and like going off and having a good time i mean it's definitely an amazing experience for us like you know we couldn't be happier than to see you know a bunch of kids come out on a week night and go off and fucking some kids know the words and it's definitely an awesome feeling at the end of the night so we're definitely happy to be here so you have how many more dates left on this? How many more Florida dates left on this tour? You guys play, we play Tampa tomorrow? Yeah, we played Jacksonville last night, and that was cool as hell. And then we played, obviously, Pembroke today, which is sort of like Miami, I guess, yeah. right? Well, can I, some people say yes, some people be like, eh, it's two yeah. hours. To me, it's, to me, it's all the same. Yeah. I, I live, I live down in Miami, so this is like, it's like a 45 minute hour drive for me to come up here. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's the same shit. Yeah, we play Tampa tomorrow, and then we play uh, Panama City. Uh, in Miami in Midwest, so you know that that should be a good show up there by Tallahassee. Yeah, Tallahassee. it was supposed to be in Tallahassee, but it ended up moving to Panama City, and then uh, then we got some long hauls on the way home. We're playing in Charleston, South Carolina on Saturday, and then uh, on Sunday we're playing Trenton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trenton, New Jersey. So all of, I just oh man, yeah. yeah. We kind of did the same thing last tour. Uh, on our way home, we were fortunate to pick up last minute like two awesome shows um the tour officially ended with hard size last summer in san antonio which is their hometown and we were you know before we had left the tour we pretty much had planned on just like driving from san antonio to new york and you know over the span of like maybe a day and a half or two days but in hindsight it was definitely a wise decision to try to pick up some you know last minute shows and we pl- played an awesome show in uh little rock arkansas that was sick and then we played in columbus ohio so we got both extra drives kind of doing the same thing now they are long drives but at least they're broken up a little bit yeah i just did that drive from jersey down here 
Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen hundred miles. Ugh. So so bad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But um no, I appreciate you taking the time to do this little interview with us. I know that like we're not like a huge thing or anything like that, but you know, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Definitely said some cool things. So playing Tampa tomorrow, check out the seven inch. I think it's awesome. Thank you. Definitely one of my definitely one of my favorite EPs from last year. Cool man. You know? Bad John Records picking up on their tour. Thanks a lot, Kyle. I appreciate it. Man.